go over how to use the uh, email content designer and uh, where to find the classic. Uh, so basically, once you uh, log into your Dynamics Pro under the Action Center right here, if you go down, you'll see email templates. Once you get into email templates, uh, you'll have all of your um, all of your current email templates. You can sort by folders if they're in folders over here. If you need to put something in a uh, folder, you just uh, go down to that particular email uh, template, click on the folder, and then you can either put it in a folder or create a new folder. All right. So uh, if you're wanting to build one from scratch, you just go to this add email template area right here. You click on it. And then it says, uh, start by selecting a sample below. So here's all of your samples that are in here and also some other ones. So uh, there's a mixture of, you know, the classic and then here's the newer uh, content designer that we have in here for you. So this one you could tell was the classic and then this is the new one. So it's under video one and then video email template number one is uh, the classic. Yours may be uh, labeled a little bit different, but you can tell the difference on them. So this is uh, the advanced editor. If you're wanting to uh, build one from scratch, let's just say that you see an email template that some company sends you and you want to build one from scratch, you can do it right from there. Or you can do, do the uh, basic editor, or I like to call it the classic. Um, let me go ahead and show you the basic editor. That's going to look the most familiar. It's the easiest one. So if you click on basic editor, uh, the name right here is the name of the template. So whenever you are in your template area, uh, this is the template name. So this is only what you see. And then there'll be an email subject line right here. Okay. So let's go ahead and go back to add email template. And I'm going to go back over to the basic editor. I just wanted to show you where that was. So the name of the template, um, I'll just call this uh, test template. And then the subject line is whenever, uh, this is what the prospect will see. Um, so it could be uh, first time home buyer class this weekend. So when they get this email in their inbox, this will show up in their, um, in their inbox. All right, so then what you wanna do is you wanna be able to insert the header that's in your um, that's in your email template area. So again, I'm going to I'm going to actually just apply this just to save it. But I'm going to go um, back to show you what I'm talking about. So um, the first thing, let me show you how to actually insert the header in there, and then I'll kind of go over that. So uh, you go to this merge fields right here, and you click on it, and then you go down to special fields, and then you go down to header template, and you insert the header template code. Okay, so it always start with percentage percentage and it'll end in percentage percentage and it's the header that it's going to automatically insert. And then if uh, you want to automatically uh, insert their first name, you just click on this merge field, go to contact fields and insert their first name. Okay. Now the reason why you do this is because if you're going to send a mass email out to let's just say a hundred of your past clients, um, if you put this and, and then you send it out all in a one one click of an email, like you send it out in a mass email, then what happens is whatever uh, whatever their first name is is going to automatically insert this in. So you're going to send it out to John, Mary, Joe. So then it'll automatically insert uh, insert John in there, and then then the email that goes to Mary will automatically insert Mary. It's going to automatically put the header in there with these merge codes. Okay, so then the body of the email goes here and then um, you're going to end with your footer which is your email signature so again you just go to merge fields go down to special fields and go to footer okay so we're going to click on apply now apply just keeps you in here so you keep on editing all right so now I want to show you this header and this footer, what I'm talking about. So if I click uh, save to get out, okay, then it takes, when I click 
apply it keeps me in there so i keep on editing but it saves it if i click save it's going to take me back out of there that's saying hey i'm done with it okay so i can see my most recent ones right here and then there's the test template or i could find it by alphabetical order so if i go down to test template here it is right here so um so that's how you find it next uh you remember how i said it had the percentage percentage header percentage percentage if you click on the header it's going to automatically insert this image right here. It says, whenever we see percentage, percentage, header, percentage, percentage in your email templates, we'll replace it with the content below. Now, it doesn't matter if it's lowercase or anything. It's fine if it has a capital H. It's, it, it'll, still, uh, it'll still insert it in there. Footer, if I go to footer, it says, whenever we see percentage, percentage, footer in your email templates, we'll replace it with the content below. So that'll go ahead and replace it with this information. So again, let's go back. And instead of scrolling down, I'm going to go to this recent area right here and click on test template. So basically what it said is whenever it see, uh, sees that header uh, merge field, it's going to insert the header. And then whenever it sees the footer, it's going to do the footer. So let's go ahead and take a look at what this email looks like if we were going to send it out to someone. So if I click on home and let me just go to Charles Adams. And then I go to uh, click this drop down up at the top. So now I'm in the contact card of the person. So I'm going to click on actions. And I'm going to click send email. And then right here, this is where you find all the email templates in that area that we were just in. So if you click on this drop down. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, send this test template that I just made. Now watch what happens when it says percentage, percentage, header, percentage, percentage, and then the first name, and then the uh, footer area. It won't have that percentage anymore. So we'll click on test template, and then it automatically inserted this. Remember, whenever it says percentage, percentage, header, percentage, percentage, it's going to automatically put this uh, header in there. Remember the first name merge field, it automatically put Charles in there. And then uh, in the footer merge field, it automatically inserted my, um, my footer in there. All right, so let's go ahead and go back home. <coughs> Excuse me, let's go to email templates. And now let's go ahead and create, um, let's go ahead and use one of our, our uh, let's go ahead and use one of our uh, sample ones, okay? So you can tell these ones are really wide. You can tell these are the classic. Okay, now you'll see that these one has a little bit of uh, padding right here, so it's a little bit skinnier. So you can tell that these are the newer ones, and plus they're really, really fancy. So what I would do is, you could use any of these, but uh, I would stick with the simple one at the very beginning. They have a really cool open house in there where you could just uh, uh, change out photos and stuff like that. So let's find... There is a simple logo and text. This is what I would recommend starting out with until you get used to the... Uh, the, the new uh, content designer. So if I click uh, simple logo and text right here, it's going to open up this and it's going to say name this new email template. So I will call it test template number two. All right, and then you could actually put it into a folder. So I'm just going to put create and start editing. I'm not going to put it into a folder right now. So I'm going to click uh, create and start editing. So now it's going to open up this brand new content designer. So this is a little bit more fancier and you have way, way more control of what you want to do, but it's not as easy as that other one. That other one's very, very easy. Okay. So right here, um, you could insert a logo, your company logo, your header, whatever you want to do. So if I click on this, you'll notice over here on the right hand side, it brought up some options. So again, watch over here. And then this area is going to come up. So whatever um, area you click on, it's going to bring up a menu over here. So I click on it, and it brings up a menu. And so now it's telling me I could adjust the width. And you kind of just go in here and play around with it. Full width on mobile, which means that on a mobile, it'll just go full width. So it'll go to the 100% width. Okay. So you can, however, however you're liking on here, you can align it left or right or center it up. I kind of like it to to the left a little bit, but you can do it however you want. Um, and then you could change the image because you, of course, don't want this logo image up here. So if I click on change image, then I could either upload, import, or search free photos. So if I want to upload something from my computer, if I click on upload, 
And let's just say, let me go to my Google Drive and let me go into um, logos and let's just say I want to put in system dynamics up at the top or maybe I'm designing Brian Bailey's. Here's his uh, LinkedIn uh, header that he has. So if I click on it, then you'll notice it says upload in progress. And then all I got to do is click on insert. And now I'll put uh, the header up there. And you can put anything that you want up there for the top. Okay. All right. So next, uh, next, um, there's a divider right here. So if I don't want this divider, I just click on it. And then I click this trash can. But I like the little divider right there. Um, if, then I click on uh, this uh, area. Now this is a text module right here. So, um, this is where you put the body of the email. So let's just say that you want to insert the merge tags on here. So it's called merge tags on this one, but uh, you click on it and then um, you can insert the contacts first name, last name, just like we did on the last one. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert the first name right here. And then I'm gonna backspace and put a comma right there. So it'll say, if I send it to Nathan, it'll say Nathan and then the body of the email. And then down here, you could uh, have your social media. So if, um, let's just say that I go to Facebook. And so I go to my Facebook business page right here. And so what I could do is I go up here to the top and then I can uh, copy my Facebook URL right here. And then I can copy, so I could right click, copy the link. So this is the link to go to my business Facebook page. All right, so if I want to go to Facebook, I just all I do is if I want to work on a particular area, you can tell that it's boxed out right here. So this is the social media area. I click on it. And then what I do is I go over here to the right because remember, these options came up now. As soon as I click on this area, this options will come up. And then it says right here, where, when someone clicks on this Facebook icon, where do you want um, it to redirect them to? And I want to paste in my business page. Okay. So up here is where you could save changes. So if I click save changes, then it's going to save my header area, this. Okay. And then let's just say that I want to add my email signature in at the bottom. If I, all I'd have to do is I could go up here to rows um, because you'll notice that this is a row goes left to right. This is a row goes left to right. It's just really tall, but it's a row. And then this is a row. And so if I want to add another row, I just click on rows up here. And then you could add one row with one column. You can do one row with two columns. And then this is just saying the first column is, what is that, like a sixth? Maybe that's, yeah. So like there's a third, two thirds, uh, half, half two thirds, one third. So you can select what you want to have. So if you want to just put your footer down there, I could just click and drag this down. And then you got to wait till this little drag it here comes up. And then once it shows up there, you just release. And then there it is right there. All right. Oops. My, uh, all right, there we go. So now it says no content here, drag new from content panel. So if I go up here to the content panel and click content, I want to add text because I want to be able to put that percentage, percentage, footer, percentage, percentage in. All I got to do is click and drag it to the area that I want it. So I'm going to drag it here into that blue line. If you, if you don't see that blue line, you got to kind of move it around a little bit and then it'll show up there. And then you release. It says, I'm a new text block ready for your content. So if you click on it now, you could delete that out of there. So just hit the delete. And then you can put your merge tag in there. And then you can just say... Um, Actually, you know what it is. It's percentage, percentage, footer, percentage, percentage. And now put your footer in there. You click Save Change. There you go. And that's that's a little bit easier of a... Um, well, that's a little bit more advanced than the basic. If uh, this seems a little too hard for you, um, just stick with the uh, basic. So I'm going to click on Save. Okay. So if, um, like I said, if, if that seems a little too complicated for you, again, stick with the basic editor, all right? 
it, the next one, kind of the intermediate, would be just pick one of these and then uh, you go in there and click on whatever area and then switch it out. And then there's one you could do from scratch. So if I go to advanced editor, um, this one's a lot more. So I'll go test template uh, advanced editor. Again, if uh, you if if you uh, if this got a little complicated on that last one, you go ahead and probably stop watching for right now. And then if uh, after you get the basic down, then you go to intermediate, and then you go to this advanced editor. Now with this one, um, it's just completely blank, but it's super easy um, to add. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an image right here. So it says no content, drag new from content panel. So this is the content panel. And all I'm gonna do is click and drag it until I find this, drag it here. So I'm gonna click on, and then I'm gonna release. And now it just says, drop your file here, you know, your image. So if I click on browse, it's gonna look familiar. You could either upload and put the, uh, put the header in there. So I'm gonna click on insert. So there's my header, okay. But now there's no rows behind it here or down below here. So now I uh, let's just say that I want to um, let's go ahead and put one row in underneath of it. So I'm going to just do one row with one column. Remember, this is two columns, but so I'm going to do one column and then I'm going to click until I drag it there. Release. And now I'm going to put another text. I'm going to just put a text module right here. So I'm going to slide it over until it says drag here. Release. And let's just say that um, check out this video of this beautiful poem. All right. And now if I want to, I could highlight it. And then right here I could center it up. I could make, uh, I could make the sentence a lot. I could do it like a 24 pixels, make it a little bit bigger. I could change... Uh, the font, um, many things I could do on here, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and click Save Changes just so I don't lose changes, all right? So next, I want to, let's just say I wanna add a video. I did a video tour of a home, okay? So I'm gonna go to YouTube, man, because I uploaded my video to my YouTube channel. And we're gonna go to Easy Homes, one, two, three. <clears throat> and they do a really good job with their video tours. We're out here off of Hallam in South Lakeland. We have a four. All right, so let's just say that you did a video of a home. You kind of see as he goes through the home, he's kind of showing off the home. And if I go to share and I click on share, I could copy this uh, YouTube URL right here. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm going to add another row, which I don't, did I add that row? No, I didn't. Okay, so I'm going to go back to row and I'm going to add a row, one column. Oops, notice how I clicked and, and I, I just released it, but it didn't happen, nothing happened. It's because I got to wait for that drag it here, that line with the blue. So I'm going to drag it here and it says no content here. Drag new from the content panel. So if I go up to the content panel and I click on it, um, I want to add a video. So here's a video right here. All right, now I'm gonna release and now I could add a video URL. So if I click on it, <coughs> it says add a YouTube or Vimeo URL to automatically generate a preview of the image. The image will link to the provided URL, okay? So all I have to do is put the video URL right here. So if I go back to YouTube and I click on it, and then I copy this URL right here and hit copy. Remember, right here is underneath the video, there's a share and that's where I get this link, okay? I could also go up to up here at the address bar and grab it there too, either way. All right, so now I'm gonna, I could either add the video URL here or because I clicked on this area, it brought up this little area right here. Want to click add a video URL. It opens this up over here. And then all I got to do is paste it in there. And then you go through here. You could actually add size and stuff like that if you want to. Okay. So I'm going to 
no padding. So, so it almost creates like a border if you kind of tell. But I'm just going to do no border. Um, the play icon, icon, icon uh, type, if you click on, you can do rounded outline. You can do rectangle solid. You can do anything, really. So um, play icon color. I can do dark. Size, I can make it bigger. And then I'm going to hit save changes. And then if I go to rows, I could add... Um, let's go ahead and do... Let's do these thirds real quick. I'm just gonna, just to do something different, I'm gonna dra um, drag it here. So I created a new row with three columns. One, two, three. So this is one column, one column, one column. So row left to right, column up and down. So row, one column, row, one column, row, one column, row, three columns, okay? So now I'm gonna click on content. And now I could put a text module right here. I could put a image module right here. I could put a button right here. So um, let's just go ahead and put, just for demonstration purposes. Um, so I put a text module, drag it here, release. And I could put the address here if I wanted to. I put the address here. Maybe right here, I want to put a picture of the front of the house. So I might want to go to content and then I want to drag an image. It says drop your files here. So um, I click browse. And I could click on import if I wanted to. And it gives you a lot of different. You go to Facebook, Gmail, Dropbox, whatever you want to do. You could also just click on upload and uh, find something in your computer. So let's just go to, I'm sure I have a house picture here somewhere. You go to Adobe. Uh, here we go, and let's just say that this is my house. I'm going to upload the image. And then on this one, I am going to click on insert. All right, and then now that I have the uh, image in there, if I click on this, it's going to bring up different uh, different uh, options I could do. So I could align left, line right. There's really no room for it just because it's so big of a picture and it put it in that block content. I could change the image again. I could even add effects on it. If I want to write on the photo, I could hit apply effects and more. So if I want to, I could draw on it, I could add text. So if I wanted to add text and I wanna put black text, add text, and then down here, double click uh, here. So I can just double click and add the address, one, two, three, anywhere street. And for some reason it changed the color, so I'm gonna highlight it, click color. And there's the black if I wanna do that. You can play around with it if you want and then click apply and then save. And there's all kinds of things that you could do on there. So we used to do this on Canva, but now we have, uh, have this right inside the editor. And then let's just say right here, I want to add more content. So I, um, I click on this content up here and then let's just say I wanna add a button. So I'm gonna click and drag the button. So then there's a little button. So now to get this, more options to come up. I got to click on the button. <coughs> Excuse me. And now it says right here, actions. I could link this button to this URL. So um, maybe I want to take it to 
maybe I want to do, let's see here. Maybe I want to link it to the address or something or a landing page. Um, let's try. Whoops. Oh, and by the way, there's a little down the bottom left hand corner. There's an undo right here. So if you you're like, oh, I don't want to do that. You click on undo. And then it'll actually take things off. And then if you're like, oh, no, I wanted to have that button on there. You could just hit this uh, arrow to the uh, redo arrow and it'll put it back. So we'll just keep on. So that's in the bottom left hand corner. And then you actually have the uh, revisions right here. So you could actually quickly jump to, you know, uh, something that you did on, on the revision. So. All right. So. Um, maybe you want to uh, send that button to your uh, mortgage person. Maybe there's an apply now button or something. Um, this could be something like. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Let me get this thing off of here now. Okay, so to get that off here, you just have to click it again. All right, so now I want to go back to my button. And then right here, you could change the color of the button. So if you click on it, the little box, you could switch it to red, drag this around, make it a different colors. Um, the text color is the color of the button. So it's, or the, the text where it says button. So if I want to make that purple, then I can make it purple. I'll stick with white. You can align it to the left, to the right, in the middle. You can click inside the button and then just add apply for a mortgage by clicking here and then you can send it to maybe your mortgage brokers apply um, apply page um, and then for the last thing if I want to add a row I could again click on row and then come down to the bottom until it says drag here release and then now I want to follow or I want to end it with if I go to my text right here delete that off and hit percentage percentage footer percentage percentage and now I'll insert my footer hit save changes and let's just say I don't like this white I want I want kind of like a darker color over here on the borders just that way it looks really good on mobile if I want to do that, I'll go over here to the top right settings and then see where it says background color. So if I click uh, background color, all I have to do is I click on this right here and I put like a light gray on it. The content area background, which is this right here, the columns. So if I instead of transparent, which is why it's showing uh, the gray in the background, if I want to just do white, and it'll kind of give it a nice little, give it a nice little uh, separation. So um, this is really good for mobile. And that's it. You could actually design any um, any email template that you want. So if you see one from uh, a company that you really, really, really like, um, you could basically recreate that same exact uh, that same exact photo. Um, one thing I did want to show you too is like right here in the image area, I forgot to show this, is if you go to change image, you could actually search for free photos and we use, um, search for free photos, we use Unsplash, Pexels, and Pixabay. So these are, um, let me just put luxury home. So any keyword that you want to press in there, hit enter. Let's just do house. And you could also do something like mortgage or loans. So you could actually import this in there also. So this is using it from like Pexels or Unsplash and they're royalty free photos that you're allowed to use. And then I just click on insert like I did before and then there's that image too. So and that's it. You say save changes. After you save changes, you uh, put done editing content. 
and then you could attach your files right there and then just click on save. And then now if I go down to test template advanced editor, there it is, test template advanced editor, and you could tell which ones are the classic because it doesn't have this little icon beside of it. If you hover your mouse over this, it says edit and content designer. So you could very quickly just click on it and then go right to the editing from the content designer. Thanks for watching this video.